I am very sensitive to the light that shines even in the windows. The macula is covered by a layer of protective pigment called the macula lutea. In 1985, scientists identified this yellow pigment as lutein and zeanthin, two retinal carotenoids found in green leaf vegetables. If we raise the pigment above the retina, we can better understand how the yellow pigment filters out the higher energy blue light. This layer may be thinner in those with macular degeneration, thus providing less protection to the macula, and possibly adding to more degeneration. Additionally, it may cause light sensitivity. On the left side, we have the normal density of protective pigments. The right retina shows advanced dry macular degeneration. The thinner, less dense layer of protective pigments allows higher energy blue light to reach the retina. The right eye also shows a loss of the protective pigment of the retinal pigment epithelium, or RPE. Notice how light the macular area appears. Normally, as in the left retina, the RPE absorbs most of the stray light after it passes through the retina. When the RPE layer is damaged, light is reflected back through the retina. In advanced wet macular degeneration, large discoform scars may occur. These large white scars reflect light like a mirror. The light bounces around in the eye until it's fully absorbed. This results in an overexposure of the retinal image and causes light sensitivity and may decrease contrast. In very bright sunlight, either a gray or amber filter can be effective. However, as we demonstrated earlier, most macular degeneration patients have poor glare recovery. When they move from bright light to dimmer light, their vision may dim. When you walk onto a porch, the gray filter may suddenly become too dark for a macular degeneration patient, while the amber still provides a safe view down the porch. Remember, if you turn from a bright street onto a shade-covered road, suddenly the gray may be too dark and endanger your driving.